Okay, this lunar price prediction might be higher than anybody else on YouTube, but before you shut this off and call me a crazy person, listen, I have sound ideas and there's interesting things that are happening right now that I think could actually lead to, <clears throat> wait for it, uh, I think potentially a $1,000 lunar price point and potentially even a $10,000 lunar price point. And I know you're going to think I'm completely nuts, but actually I'm normally quite conservative in my estimates. Let me explain why. And I want to show you a few protocols that are coming to the Terra Luna ecosystem that not a lot of people know about that's going to bring in mass adoption. So let me explain this really quickly so you don't think I'm completely nuts. Terra Luna is currently number seven in terms of total market cap at about $28 billion. And if we look at the crypto total market cap, it's about $1.67 trillion. That's all the cryptocurrencies together. And so that makes up about 1.75% of the total crypto market cap. Now, it is my estimation that the crypto total market cap will grow from 1.67 trillion dollars to 100 trillion dollars by the end of the decade and before you say i'm crazy here's the statistics to actually back it up and uh, this is from Rao paul who's one of the most famous macro investors of all time and this is just the flat out reality of what happens with network technologies like cryptocurrencies like internet like email like social media they all grow in these crazy cycles and this is a log curve that shows the internet adoption from basically the year 1992 until 2006 and you can see how it grew in white here is how the internet was adopted and you can see it grew like absolute crazy and if you look at cryptocurrencies here in orange you see that we're kind of mapping the internet. Actually, we're even growing faster than the internet was adopted. And I think that's because we do have the internet infrastructure, but we're basically at like 250 million total crypto users. And it's estimated by around 2024, we'll be at 1 billion crypto users. Okay. And it's likely by the end of the decade at 2030, that we'll be at like 4.3 billion crypto users, potentially maybe a little bit less, maybe 3.5 billion, but it should be somewhere around there. So according to this calculation, it seems like we're going to have at least a 50, if not a 100x from this point is terms of growth of the total crypto total market cap goes. And if you just take a look really quickly, if you take a look at a hundred trillion dollar market cap, let's say that all of crypto again is a hundred trillion dollar market cap in order for Luna to have a $10,000 price point, Luna would need to have 3% of the market share of the total crypto market cap, which I think is not unrealistic. So just backing it up here, if we grow at this rate, it's not unrealistic to have a hundred trillion dollar total market cap by the end of the decade. And if that's the case and Luna just has 3%, then that would mean a $10,000 price point for Luna. Now, I'm not going to say that's for sure going to happen, but I want to justify this and zoom out a little bit before we get into what I think for 2022. Now, with that all being said, we see that Luna is now the second largest in terms of TVL, total volume locked. There's $21 billion that is locked on the Terra Luna ecosystem and it's second to only Ethereum. So adoption has been growing like crazy and there's for good reason, really. And if you know anything about the way that Luna works, I'm sure you do. Uh, they, uh, the Terra ecosystem was put together to basically create decentralized stable coins and UST is the most popular stable coin in the Terra ecosystem. And the interesting thing about how it works is as you may know, as there's more demand for UST, this means that more Luna gets burned up. So essentially uh, less and less of the supply. So essentially, you know, it puts like an upward price pressure on the price of Luna. So the whole key here is, is it's around this UST adoption. And the more UST adoption that happens, in theory, the greater the price of Luna should really be. Now, if we look at why this is so powerful, if we take a look at what's happened in the world recently, the need for decentralized money is really becoming apparent. If we take a look at in Canada with all the truckers that were protesting that had a different view than the, the narrative of the government, right? They were able to freeze their bank accounts instantaneously for no reason, which is like 
insane. If we saw, you know, the war happening in Ukraine and in Russia, we see that, you know, the Ukrainian infrastructure is being uh, missiled, being bombed, and people are unable to transact and withdraw their money. And so the need for decentralized money is strong there too. And then we see in Russia, the ruble collapsed over 30% in the matter of like a couple days. So this need for decentralized money, it's like the whole planet is waking up to this idea of the importance of decentralized money. And obviously early Bitcoin adopters were uh, very aware of this, but now it's you know happening at an even faster rate than ever before because of what's happening in the macroeconomic uh, world here. So Here's why I I think that there's a few protocols that not a lot of people know about, but I think the main thing that needs to happen is I think new people need to be onboarded into the crypto sphere. And if you look at it, this is the number of new addresses. This is Bitcoin addresses, but it's a good metric to, you know, give us an idea of, of overall Uh, new wallets or new users coming into the space. And if we look at it, we haven't really had a huge spike in new users coming into the space. And it's kind of just been, you know, existing crypto users trading and uh, competing against each other um, in this space. So the reason why I think that Luna is probably a coin that I'm, I'm most bullish on in the top 10 is because they have really innovative applications that are going to bring in new users. Number one, you probably know of Anchor Protocol. It is a simple glorified savings account that's been paying out 19.51% APY for a long time. This is paid out for anybody that deposits UST. And this is part of the reason why UST has become uh, so well adopted is partly because of this anchor protocol. And if we just take a look at uh, decentralized stable coins uh, compared to centralized stable coins like Tether and Circle, as you guys know, USDC and USDT, these are both centralized stable coins. And as you can see, Tether has been dying. USDC is a better product, so it's been gaining in share. But really, decentralized stable coins and algorithmic stable coins like UST have actually been growing in adoption. And this is something that is is really interesting and why I believe that uh, Luna has this price potential of, well, you'll see here what I think at the end of the video. So Anchor is one of them. Another one that is just launching, I think it literally just launched today actually as I'm filming this video, is Outlet. Um, Outlet has a, a debit card where you can basically go directly from UST directly into fiat. So this is a video of a guy that's using his Outlet debit card that's connected to his Terra Station wallet address where he's basically withdrawing real cash that he had uh previously held in UST. So I don't see any other protocols. Like you don't see this really in Ethereum. You don't see an FTM, AVEX. You you don't really see it anywhere. It's not to poo-poo these other blockchains, but you don't see any other protocols besides Luna really, you know, paving the way for easier mass adoption. You can see this here with the guy with the outlet card. The next thing that I think is really quite interesting for bringing on even more users. And again, everything here that I'm showing you guys, this demand for UST, I only see it growing, meaning that Luna is only going to burn, which I can only imagine that's going to be positive for the price of Luna. But basically this is a uh, Cato money and essentially it allows you to buy UST with like your debit or credit card in like five minutes, just like how you'd buy anything online. You can basically just buy it here through a normal checkout process, which is really cool. They've made it very simple. And that's one of the things that I absolutely love about, um, I love about um, the the Terra Luna ecosystem is the fact that everything is very, very simple. If you look at all of the user interfaces and everything, they're really building and crafting everything for uh, the brand new user. Now, one other thing that is a huge thing that's coming <clears throat> is astral money. And basically, this is a um, <clears throat> this is essentially a merchant service that's going to allow stores and businesses to collect payment in the form of UST. For example, it already integrates with WooCommerce. It's coming to Shopify, which you guys know how big of platforms are WooCommerce and Shopify. They're absolutely just, I mean, they're massive. They're, they're, they're massive platforms that's only going to drive demand for UST, which is uh, really cool. Now, the last one that I'm going to show you, it's something called uh, Proteus Finance. And they basically advertise up to 150% in Terra with one click possible with Proteus. Basically, they are essentially going to have 
a onboarding ramp where you can onboard your funds with your credit or your debit card. And then they have this AI that basically selects the most profitable yield farming strategies um, on Terra. And essentially you'll be able to withdraw or spend that money that you're earning with a debit or uh, with a debit card, just like we saw something similar happening, um, which I was showing you here with Outlet. Um, but really cool because it makes it so simple. You can buy with your debit card. You can do one click and you can start earning APY anywhere from 20 to 150% APY on your money. And I think this is a huge step in bringing mass adoption. Obviously, if you're in the DeFi world, you know how powerful DeFi is. But for the average Joe, this is, you know, it's way too complex to, you know, set up a wallet and then, you know, you know, figure out how to get the gas to pay it and then provide the liquidity and stake. And all this stuff is way too complex for the average Joe that's not a crypto head. Um, so uh, this is something that is coming that I think is, is going to be really, really uh, huge. So where does this leave us for price prediction? You know, I don't think it's unrealistic for the crypto total market cap to grow to be a hundred trillion dollar market. Um, by any means. And if Terra uh, Luna just encompasses 3% of the market, that would equal a $10,000 Luna price point, which I'm not going to say for sure that that's going to happen, but it's not so far-fetched to think that that actually could happen. But I do think it's realistic that, you know, at some point Terra is, I mean, I, I would find it hard to believe that it's not going to be worth a thousand dollars this year. I don't know exactly what's going to happen this year. It depends a lot with what happens with, with the U S and what happens with the war in Ukraine and Russia. Um, so I don't know exactly. All I do know is, is that more and more Luna is continuing to be burned and this could only be good for the price of Luna. So you found this video helpful. I'm going to leave a couple other videos here that you also will find helpful. So go ahead and check it out.